Hey everybody, it's Christopher here with 3 do Gaming, and today I have in front of me one of my favorite controllers of all time, and this has been reimagined by Retrobit Gaming. Now this is built off of the Japanese version of the Sega Saturn controller, which is one of my favorite systems of all time. Now what they've done is they have officially licensed this from Sega, and they have three different versions they've released. They have the wired USB one, which I do not have here, but that'll work with your computer directly or it'll work through your PS3. They have the 2.4 gigahertz version, which will work with the Sega Saturn if you do have one, or it'll work with uh, via USB with a dongle, so it is wireless still. And this is the one I've been using if you've seen any of my videos online uh, where I've been playing computer games or emulated software through the PC. This is the controller I've actually been using. And they also have a wireless version, a Bluetooth version, now this is the one that may interest you the most. This will work perfectly with your retro systems. So if you have that retro pocket too and you love playing retro games and you want to focus on like your Sega Genesis games, which is perfect because it has the six buttons, or your Super Nintendo, or any of the older ones that don't require the actual thumbstick itself, this is my recommended controller. I love this controller. I love the feel of it. The shape of it works great in your hands. It's got a nice lightweight design. The buttons, are just like the original Saturn ones. They're nice and clicky. You have your shoulder buttons. Battery life on this is great too. It does last a long time. I've never had a problem with these and I love it enough that I have a whole selection of them myself. So they come in different colors. Uh, this is the blue one. This is only for the 2.4 gigahertz ones. But if you like the clear design on the Bluetooth one, they have the, the slate gray, which is uh, semi-transparent. And they have the original one, which is this, the black, and they also have the Japanese variant, which is the the kind of the grayish, whitish color. But I love these controllers. Uh, they work great with any of this products they're supposed to. This is so much better than using the original Saturn ones because you do not have any cords to worry about, but it gives you the same exact authentic feel. And for retro gaming, I think the Saturn is one of the best controllers that was ever designed. So if you're interested in these, I'm going to put some links below so you can take a look at it closer. But I just wanted to show you what I use when I game. Because I've had some people ask about controllers before. And you know I love my 8-bit dough, which is this one right here. So if you need the thumbsticks, this is my go-to. I love this controller. But for some older retro gamer where you don't need that, this is what I would go to. This is a beautiful controller to use on the old 16-bit games, 8-bit games. And even some of your 32-bit gaming that doesn't use the thumbsticks themselves. But... I just wanted to show this off to you guys there. Um, they have been running some sales on it there. So take a look. They are uh, great controllers. I do love them very much. Retrobit makes some great products. I like to stick with companies I know and trust. I trust Retrobit. I've used this one here since it came out, since the launch day. I've never had one single problem with it there. Charge is fast. Use, lab battery lasts a long time. Responsive. Never had an issue. So take a look at them, guys. If you're looking for any... Uh, retro controllers this is the one that I would recommend above all if you're looking for more modern controllers I would say um, there's some other options 8-bit dough that I use is one of my favorite retro bit gaming actually has a new one coming out that I'm gonna take a look at too for you guys but uh, take a look enjoy it if you like the videos please go ahead like share and subscribe take a look at these on Amazon through the links below I greatly appreciate that if you do have any questions about them want to see anything in action with these controllers let me know I'll be more than happy to place them there and show you how they work and also show you how to connect them with the Retro Pocket 2 or any other gaming system that you have that you want to connect with. But thanks so much for watching, guys. You have a wonderful day. Take care.